In the last video, we discussed how to enable IBM Watson Assistant Service and we just gave you a walkthrough of the interface. In this video, we're going to talk about how to start creating your book recommender chat part. So go to skills and in the skills, click on create new. Please note that this skill is already created and I already have discussed this in the previous video. So we are going to create exactly a similar kind of an application book recommendation. So click on create new and then you have to give a name. You can give any name. I'm just using BDCS book recommender chat or recommender. That's it. And just click on create. It's going to take some time and you would see that you're under skills, BDCS book recommender and build. The first step of creating a chatbot is to create an intent. As mentioned in the video number one of introduction of chatbots, intent is a goal or purpose of the user input. So think about how your chatbot is going to look like. Please watch it till the end of this video wherein I show you how to approach this intent. So I'm going to create an intent and I'm going to show you at the very end of this video how to approach an intent. So click on add intent and imagine that a person is going to interact with you. A person is going to interact with the chat part. So the first one would be greetings and then click on create intent. In greetings, think of examples how users are going to interact. Remember, the goal of this user at this point in time is to greet or to be greeted. So the user is going to say hi or hi, hello. So just click on add example or press enter. It's going to add. You would say or they would say good morning or greetings. Hola. Namaste. You can think of any good, uh, you know, salutations or greetings. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hi. Hi is already done. So it says example may not be duplicated because hi is already added. You would say, hey. So think of all the examples where a user objective is to greet all right so good afternoon good evening good morning now they can use short forms as well gm good evening good afternoon or they can just say morning or afternoon or evening so these are few greetings which can happen next is you would create an intent so the second thing the user would interact with the bot would be to ask for book recommendations so in intents are those entities where you would think how the users are going to interact with your chat bot so the second in entity would be book recommendation. So click on add intent, book recommendation. Please note that there, need, there cannot be any space in the intent name and that's where I have used underscore. So if you want to try this, it says it can only contain alphabetical characters, numericers, underscores and dashes. So that's why I'm using underscores. Add description. So intent for book recommendations, great intent. So think about this, how you expect 
the users will interact with this chatbot. So understanding, so it, it says that train your virtual assistant with the intent by adding unique examples of what your users would say. So you have to predict, you have to visualize what the users will say. So say here, uh, recommend books or I am looking for mystery books. Doesn't matter if all of the intents are not covered. Uh, Watson provides an option to visualize how your people, how your uh, user community is interacting. And then you can always go and change or add more recommendations. Book recommendations for mystery. Or they can say, recommend good books for mystery. Or they can say good mystery books, right? I'm just focusing on mystery for now. So book recommendations for mystery, good mystery books. I'm looking for mystery books or good books for mystery genre. So these are some examples and you would see that you have to imagine all of this and go on adding it, right? So as I said, wait till the end of the video and I'm going to tell you a better method to do it. So imagine you just covered mystery books for now and you can try it so click on here say try and please understand that uh, the creation of chatbot is very very uh, iterative in nature that watson is training and it takes sometimes uh, some 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 minutes to train them so watson is training on the data you provided i'm going to pause the video so watson has finished training now let's test it so creation of chatbot is an iterative process as i mentioned before so you're going to say uh, recommend books and you can see that it says hash book recommendation that means it's correctly identifying book recommendation as the intent so recommend mystery books you can have your friend or colleague deal with the chatbot as a test and you would have two brains a different set of brains so that you can get how the users can interact the number of users interacting with your chatbot the better the chatbot would get if you go on adding more and more intents so recommend mystery books you can see here but if i say recommend uh, fiction books still it says that because you have recommend books but fiction is not identified so you would need to add let's say fiction you can see that it says irrelevant or books for fiction you can say that you can see that because it's books it's it says book recommendation so fiction reads you can see it's irrelevant so you have to add for all the genres you can possibly think of what you want to recommend so it's not a good idea to go on adding one at a time and that's why you wait till end of this video uh, to understand how to approach this so for now i'm good with book recommendations so a user is going to come in greet and then ask for book recommendations and then finally they are going to say thank you or bye something which denotes the end of conversation so create an ad intent and say thank you end of conversation create intent and you see immediately Watson starts training. So I'm going to close this, try it out and add users. Just say, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. Really good books. 
thank you for recommending thank you for really good books right and uh, they would say bye great thanks dhx so that is where uh, you know you are you're thinking of as in practicality how the users are going to interact with you you can also say show recommendations but there are no recommendation available in the light version it's available only in plus and premium plans so if you improve or upgrade your service it's going to give you recommendation as well so i think this is pretty much it and so you are imagining that a person is going to come in greetings ask for book recommendations and thank you now let's talk about the approach so in practicality in order to design what we do is we create a flow chart like this so in practicality you are going to say uh, that a use create a flow chart say that hey a user is going to come in so you would have greetings and then then they would start or ask for recommendations and then finally they would uh, say thank you so this is very basic there can be multiple steps involved like booking for a flight tickets so you are going to ask for are you going to look at are you looking for hotels or flights or then you would be thinking of dates travel plans who is traveling you know all of these things but this is a very simple part for book recommendation and they would say thank you and bye which is your close so you're going to create an intent for all three of it varies by case by case and this design is going to help you in deriving the entities so this is your intent i'm just going to move it a bit down here so this is intense and then in the next section we are going to create entities and finally you would have dialogue flow so i'm going to show you in the next video how to do the entities but for intents remember for ask for recommendation which is book recommendation you don't want to add one example at a time so what we have done is we have listed in an in a csv format all the possible questions so book recommendations for horror memoir and then you would put book recommendation or the intent name so i just said book recommendation um, just so you're going to create a csv file with all possible questions you can think of and and in the next column you put book recommendation which is your intent so instead of typing one at a time i'm going to use the csv file so let me show you how to use the csv file you can say import intents so choose a file it can be only csv or a text file and this is the format example comma intent and here i'm going to add this book recommendations dot csv and say import and you can see that it's imported so an intent already existed book recommendation and therefore it says zero new intents added 51 new examples and there were five duplicates obviously because i added mystery duplicates and say done and when you go in the book recommendation section you would see 58 examples which were imported from the csv file and this hopefully covers a lot of possible intents a user can provide so i showed you how to use csv files so click on this import and say choose a file and upload it in the format example which is the intent example and the intent the file book recommendation is available on a google drive link the link is mentioned in the video description section of this video 
expand that and you would see it's available. In the next video, we're going to talk about entities and how to create them. Thank you for watching.